Question number 4, 1. You are given a function f of x. Part A. Find f dash of x in the form p of x upon q of x, where p and q are fully factorized quadratic expressions. And part B. Hence, find the range of values of x for which the function is increasing. This question has 6 marks. We are given a function f of x is in the form of u upon v. We need to find f dash of x, first derivative of uh, f of x, in the form p of x and q of x, and p and q must be in the fully factorized form. And part b, you need to find the values of x for which the function is increasing. So if you do part a and b together, you will be given 6 points. Okay, first take the function f of x. f of x is 2x plus 5 whole square upon x minus 3. You need to find the first derivative of f of x. If you want to find the first derivative, you need to know the quotient rule. If f is a function of uh, y is a function of function in the form u upon v. u and v are the functions of x. Same like this. So your y prime will be v u dash minus u v dash upon v square. This is our product rule. v u dash or u prime minus u v prime upon v square. So we are going to apply this product rule in here. So if you have a functions in this form u upon v, if you apply the product rule it will be much easier. So okay, our u is this, v is this denominator. First v u dash, v keep it as it is, x minus 3, u dash, that means you need to differentiate this. Again when you differentiate, you can expand this using a plus b whole square, you will get a quadratic equation and, and differentiate each and every term, you can do that. For example, when you expand this, you will get 4x square plus 25 plus 2ab, which is 4 times 5, 20x. Then you can differentiate this. You can differentiate and put it in a bracket. Or the easier way you can apply chain rule. Chain rule take this as x, whole thing as. Now our objective is we are differentiating, we are trying to differentiate the function u. So take this function as x. So x square, when you differentiate x square, it will be 2x. This whole thing as x. So x square will become 2 times x when you differentiate. 2 times x. x is this function. Into, you need to, do. it's not done. That's not the chain rule. Now you need to differentiate the function which is considered as x. So you need to differentiate 2x plus 5. So it will become 2 times 1 plus 0. Or just 2. Because 5 becomes 0. 2x is 2 when you differentiate. Now, okay, we are finished with this part, v u dash. Now, minus u keep as it is, v dash, u v dash. So, u is our function 2x plus 5 whole square into times v dash. Derivative of v dash will be 1 minus 0. It is just 1. Whole divided, everything divided by v square v square. That's it. This is what the first uh, derivative of f of x is. f dash of x. Now you need to simplify. Try not to remove the brackets and expand because the question says you need to write p of x, q of x in the fully factorized form. So what I'm going to do, I tidy this up a little bit. It will become 4 x minus 3 into 2x plus 5 minus 2x plus 5 whole square divided by x minus 3. Our denominator is in the factorized form. So don't worry about denominator. In numerator, you can take 2x plus 5 as a common factor. You can take 2x plus 5 as a common factor. So here you are left with 4x minus 12. 4x minus 12. minus 
here you have two terms 2x plus y into 2x plus y and we have taken one 2x plus y 2x plus y out as a common factor so you are left with one more 2x plus y and denominator is the same that's it when you simplify this you got the factorized form already so 2x plus 5 into when you simplify this 4x minus 2x is 2x and minus 12 minus 5 is minus 17 upon x minus 3 whole square that's it we got the we got the first derivative in the fully factorized form this is how you do it try not to remove the bracket and expand it's going to make your life very difficult so try to factorize it factorize the 2x plus y even if you if you expand this and try to simplify you will end up with the quadratic quadratic expression here then you need to factorize the quadratic expression you can do that also so we got our first part part a is done now part b find the values of x for which f of x is increasing if f of x is increasing the f dash of x will be greater than or equal to 0 so take this greater than or equal to 0 and find the values of x that is for part b Now part b we need to find the values of x for which the function is increasing so take the first derivative greater than or equal to 0 if the question says decreasing take less than or equal to 0 and you need to find the values of x look at the denominator it's x minus 3 whole square so no matter what the value what value the x takes your your denominator is going to be positive so you can bring this denominator here so it will become 2x plus 5 into 2x minus 17 greater than or equal to 0 because uh, you can multiply both sides by x minus 3 whole square it's a positive number now this is a quadratic inequality in p1 if i'm not wrong we have learned how to solve a quadratic inequality if you don't know first find the roots which is minus 5 upon 2 17 upon 2 you got two roots now draw a little rough diagram what minus 5 upon 2 here 17 upon 2 here your curve will be a u-shaped parabola because the coefficient of x square will be positive 4 x square it's positive number so it's going to be a u-shaped parabola and uh, they are uh, looking we are looking at the post the curve the value of the curve is greater than or equal to 0 so basically this part above the x-axis these two parts so the corresponding x value is the solution that means anything lesser than minus 5 by 2 or anything greater than this so the solution is x less than or equal to minus 5 upon 2 x greater than or equal to 17 upon 2 so within these two uh, set of numbers the f of x is an increasing function so the same question they say decreasing function it will be less than or equal to 0 so you need to take the below the curve below the x-axis so the your solution will be minus 5 by 2 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 17 upon 2 for decreasing for increasing this is the solution even if you don't take the particular value minus 5 by 2 that's fine minus 5 by 2 17 upon 2 you can write this also so this is where the function is an increasing function so you got 6 marks for this part a and b now let's move on to part c